Hello and happy Halloween 2022. Today I'm going to be making for you a cheese souffle or sometimes referred to as a cheese strata. What you're going to need a 9 by 13 pan, loaf white bread, cheddar cheese, Four eggs, milk, moo, salt, and dry ground mustard. First thing to do is preheat your oven to 325. Next, you'll take your 9 by 13 pan and you're going to want to either spray it. I don't have any cooking spray, so I'm just going to take some butter and just line the pan lightly with the butter so your cheese souffle won't stick when you bring it out. Real simple. Just a light layer of butter, as I said, just around the bottom and around the sides. Real simple, real easy. And then just wipe the butter from your fingers. And then the next step, you're gonna wanna take your loaf bread and you're gonna line the bottom of the pan with your loaf bread. Now I reach past the first few because I just want all even slices. And you're gonna simply take your bread and line the bottom of your pan. You don't have to pack them in there. Just line it so it looks like this. And then you're gonna take your cheddar cheese and the recipe calls for one and a half cups per layer and we're doing two layers. So I personally like a lot of cheese. So I really don't go by measurements. I kind of just go by looks of thinking, oh, that looks about right. Just evenly distribute it. Try and make sure it's all covered nicely. Real simple, real easy. Now, like I said, I used up that package of cheese already, so we'll take a second bag here. That one was already open, so don't be confused by it. How did he go through so much cheese? So just a little bit more, just to make it even. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then you take another layer of bread and I just kind of alternate so it's not exactly the same way it was on the bottom layer it just kind of ties together a little bit better or it's just my own creativity I don't know if there's really a rhyme or reason to it so and just like that and then another layer of cheese so just sprinkle it on top and you don't want, obviously, a whole bunch of lumps. You just want it spread evenly over the bread. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to take your eggs and make an egg mixture with that. Just spread it evenly. Maybe I'm being a little too particular here. I'm not sure. But I know when I do make this, and honestly, I haven't made this in quite a while. Uh, this was more of a thing of a, a childhood comfort food. It's kind of like a, a, a giant baked grilled cheese for the family. All right, just like that. Real simple, real easy. And then what you're going to do, I take this. It's a nice, rather large measuring cup. Also a mixing bowl. So what you're going to want is first, 
uh, I use this for measuring the milk, but first I go through the, the eggs. And I crack them in here first, just to make sure they're good and safe, good to go. So just crack your eggs into the bowl. Everything looks good, nothing in the yolk. And it's gonna take four eggs. Now, when I do this, oh, I think I got an eggshell. Not a big deal. I like to look fancy, but apparently I screwed that up by getting the eggshell in there. Don't worry, my hands are clean. <laughs> and then you don't have to beat these or anything. It's good to go because it's gonna go into the mixing bowl with the milk. Just gonna rinse my hands from the eggs. And then you want two and a half cups of milk. So measure it out here. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. And then just dump in your eggs. Plop, plop. Yeah, I won't continue that. I don't know if that's trademarked. Probably is. Okay, and then you want one teaspoon of salt. Now, I always try to cut down on my salt a little bit. It's obviously better for blood pressure. So I might do three quarters, you know. Oop, something was in there. So, you know, so I don't fill up the, the whole teaspoon. And then the next ingredient is a teaspoon of dry ground mustard. So I'll just roughly measure that out too. And this sometimes gives it a little thump depending on how much you put in. And then simply take your mixer Put it on low and just mix it up real good. That's why you don't have to mix the eggs first. Everything just incorporates nicely. And that's it. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to start forming peaks or anything like that. And then just take that mixture and you just pour it right over your layers of bread. And I try to just go slow and methodically pouring it over so it evenly distributes through the entire pan. And I'll go back and forth, back and forth. Like I said, just trying to keep it all even, make sure it's covered, making sure it goes down to that bottom layer. And then what you're going to want to do is you put it into that preheated oven at 325 and you're going to bake that. And it is going to bake for, I believe, about 45 minutes. And I'll show you what it'll look like when we're all done here. The cheese is going to puff up. The eggs are going to mix in there. And it's just going to be so delicious. The oven is preheated for the 325 so let's put that in you're gonna put it in on the middle shelf and just put her in just like that and wait for your 45 minutes to check okay it has been in for 45 minutes and we're gonna take a look and see if it's ready to go It's looking beautiful. See how the cheese has melted and it's starting to puff up a little bit. Just give her a shake. Oh, it doesn't jiggle at all. Firmed up nicely. That is ready to go. So we're just going to take it out. 
and then just leave it set probably for about four, five minutes and then it's going to be ready to eat the cheese souffle is ready to go here's what it looks like the pan is still hot <laughs> want to dish yourself up some and it's going to be delicious and cheesy and gooey see how steaming hot that is and you can eat it however you wish some people just like this I personally kind of a dipper I love sauces and I like this with ketchup. Oops, just show you guys. And be careful, it is hot. As I showed you, it's, it's very steaming hot. So just kind of cut it, let that steam seep out a little bit before you just go and shove it in your mouth. My mouth is already watering just thinking about it. And it is so good. Mm. It's light, it's fluffy, and so cheesy good. I really hope you enjoy. So like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I do release more videos. My next one I'm going to be doing at a dessert excuse me, a dessert that tastes similar to a Reese's peanut butter cup, but oh, so much better. And we just call them peanut butter ups. Until my next video, God bless and have a great day.